Well, the volunteers known for cleaning the Coal River are making some changes. The Coal River Group is a nonprofit organization. They've been doing that for nearly two decades, but the manager says they're now looking to hire full-time employees. But they need your help to do just that. Let's check in now with 13 News reporter Sam DeCoste, who joins us now live from the Coal River watershed and tornado. All right, so what jobs are they hoping to fill, Sam? Well, Amanda, they're hoping to have full-time employees take the responsibilities of an accountant, of an IT engineer, and even environmentalists. Now, it also should be noted the Coal River Group was founded 19 years ago, and in their entire history, they have only been run and operated by volunteers. That could change very soon if the organization is able to raise enough money to start paying full-time salaries. That's according to Bill Curry, who is the manager of the nonprofit. He tells me that is how he sees the organization maintaining short and long-term success. While Curry says there are about 50 active volunteers who chip in when they're able, he's seen up to 70 volunteers pass away since the group was founded in 2004. The organization's goal was to clean and preserve the 88 mile long Coal River, which flows through Boone, Lincoln, and Kanawha counties. But over the years, their watershed and tornado has also become a very popular spot in the community for recreational activities. That includes fishing, kayaking, hiking, and more, and many other events as well. Curry hopes to fundraise $50,000 to begin hiring employees. Otherwise, they say that they might have to cut on some of the recreational programs. It's a very important uh, program for all the Coal River, and we keep the whole rivers clean, and we've cleaned them from the worst river in the nation to one of the cleanest rivers in the nation. But we just want to keep doing it, and we got to have the staff to do it. Curry says much of their funding comes from public donations, event revenue, and grants from groups like the Greater Kanawha Valley Foundation. If you would like to learn more and if you would like to make a donation to the nonprofit, you can go to their website at coalrivergroup.com. Live in Tornado, Sam DeCoste, 13 News.